Hi, I'm Steve from 530 Reviews, and you're watching a review on the Home NAS Recovery. So, uh, in the past, I've been talking about how um, how you need to have a data plan backup. So, in case you lose your computer, or you lose a server, or you lose a hard drive, you still have all your data backed up and stored. So, well, for me, that has happened. Right back there used to be where my computer was. So, it unfortunately, something happened to the power supply, it died, it fried the hard drive. I don't have, didn't have access to any of that data anymore. Um, so, but what I did have was my backups on my network. So, um, Today, what we're going to be looking at is the home NAS recovery software. So this is taking into the what if your NAS server goes down and you didn't get to make that critical backup. This software will help you, is supposed to help you um, restore that, that data. So let's give it a look. You can see right here the, the pricing you know, is all based off of the different number of disks you have. So um, when you download it, you can go to the download station or section, and uh, you do notice that they require Windows Vista and greater um, x64 based processor, uh, a NAS of some sort, and they do require that, that it is in a RAID 1, uh, RAID 0, RAID 5, or a uh, X RAID 2. I'm not familiar with that format, but that's okay because um, we don't need it. So we are going to download the latest version. So we'll download that. And it's done. So we'll install it. Um, so Windows Protection came up and says um, that this is an EXE file and uh, might put your computer at risk. I think the file is okay. I trust it. Um, I haven't well, we haven't seen any issues with it yet. So, we're going to click uh, the understand and run. Alright, I'm going to get through this uh, initial startup here. And I will be back in touch with you guys on the... Um, the normal version of this review. If you are interested in seeing the full unedited uh, version of the review, I'll put the link down in the um, in the comments section. So you'll be able to see everything I do here. So see you on the flip side. All right, guys, welcome back to the short version. And uh, you can see I've got the final screen of the home recovery NAS ready to go. So I've already got my RAID 1 array here. It's sitting up here. I've got an external um, external drive box and I used a Seagate uh, GoAgent uh, Flex um, adapter for the second drive. Unfortunately my main computer isn't available uh, so I couldn't open it up and put the drives in there and have it run at higher speeds. So unfortunately this will just be running at USB speeds so it'll probably be a little bit slower. So final step here is to click finish and I have the checkbox checked to launch it. So we're going to do that. I'm launching. And now it says it's scanning my drives. Here we'll keep you zoomed in for this section here. Okay, so scanning my drives, it found um, the Seagate Go Flex Agent, which is this guy here and a Western Digital um, drive, which is that guy right here. So we'll go ahead and select both of those drives that we want to use, and then we'll run, say, Start Analysis. So we're on step three of five. Now one of the things that the, uh, the claim to fame of uh, Home Recovery NAS is that they say that you can run their or you can get their computer or their software back in what do they say like five clicks or less 
which is it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, here's their their information. You can see it says uh, make five clicks. So after installing it, we've made um, two clicks for finding the drives, and then uh, one click to analyze. So we'll we'll see how close they are actually on the uh, five five clicks that they they promised. So, um, currently we're analyzing the NAS drive, as you can see there. Um, it's looking for RAID 0, RAID 1, or RAID 5. Um, so the block size offsets are all going to be calculated. Uh, it could take upwards of 15 minutes. So, for you guys on the long track, this is going to be quite a long video. So, hang in there. We won't be too long. Well, uh, they're helpful in that way of saying, hey, we can't do anything for you, unfortunately, but here are some other options. So, unfortunately, in this situation, looks like the software wasn't able to to work for my, uh, my drives. So, I'll keep looking around and see if I can find something that works a, a little bit better. So, um, yeah, this was a good thought. I just uh, I kind of wish it implemented a little bit better. So, all right. Anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I will answer any questions I have. Unfortunately, I didn't get very far in the video uh, or in the process. Um, it, you know, obviously, it's it crashed. Uh, wasn't able to to get done. So. Don't know what's going on here, but um, maybe eventually we'll, we'll get to it. So I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much, and have a, have a great day. Keep your data safe.